guys, so today I'm going to be filming a Christmas Q&A, uh, we're getting right into the festive mood, I thought I'd upload this video on like the Christmas week for you guys, um, and I'm in the Christmassiest jumper ever with like a ski print on it, I feel like I'm going on a ski holiday, um, and I just feel rather festive, I've got all of my presents ready to wrap, my Christmas trees on, and everything just feels great, so I thought I'd do a Christmas Q&A and then get you guys to ask me kind of Christmas related questions. So the first question I've got here from Lee Lee XO is what are your favourite Christmas films? My favourite Christmas films are Love Actually, uh, Santa Claus films like the Santa Claus 1, 2 and 3, uh, like the Santa Claus, not Santa Claus, does that make sense? Um, Polar Express, I love Polar Express. Um, what other Christmas films are I've never watched The Grinch and I've never watched Scrooge. Please hear me out. I just didn't watch them when I was younger, so I've never watched them now when I'm older. I will watch them at some point because I am the most festive person ever. I love Christmas so much um, and I just am so happy when it comes to Christmas time. But I've just never watched those films, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I haven't. Um, I do want to watch The Grinch and I do want to watch Scrooge. I watched like half of Scrooge, but not the full thing. So I do need to watch those. But probably, there's a very small selection. I'm not the biggest fan of Elf, I have to say. I'm really not. I think it's alright, but I think people like it more because it's a newer Christmas film, if that makes sense. But, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of it, whereas I prefer, like, The Santa Claus Love Actually. Oh, Miracle on 34th Street, I love that film. Um, yeah, I like a small selection of Christmas films. Um, and I will watch Elf, I do like the film, it's not like my favourite. And also, I'm going to put Frozen in there, I think Frozen's slightly Christmassy, it's got, like, ice in it. Yeah? <laughs> Heidi Jackson has said, what would you like to receive for Christmas this year? Um, what would I like to receive for Christmas? Um, I don't really care about presents. Um, I much prefer giving other people presents. I get so excited to give other people their Christmas presents that I've got them. Whereas to receive presents, I'm never really that bothered. I would really like the Canon G7X for Christmas this year. Um, it's like the vlogging camera that I want. Um, just because I'm still vlogging on this thing. Um, and it's fine, but I would like a proper camera because I do vlog quite a lot. Um, if you didn't know, I've, already, I've got a vlog channel, so I leave it. I always leave it down below. So if you want to go and subscribe head over there um but I don't know I'd really like to receive that but if I didn't I'm really not that bothered like I don't know I just I like Christmas to be that time where you get to spend time with your family and your friends and people that you don't really see that often and you just get to give people gifts and I just absolutely love the time rather than actually receiving presents obviously if I woke up on Christmas day and didn't get anything I would be slightly upset but I much prefer surprises um I absolutely don't, I don't like what, knowing what I'm going to get at all. Um, if someone says, do you want money for Christmas, I just look at them gone out. I would never want anything like that. I much prefer thoughtful gifts that people have thought of, even if they're not thoughtful, like, just like gifts rather than just give me a voucher, like, I much prefer something like that. Megan Felton asked, what are your favourite Christmas chocolates? Roses and Quality Streets by an absolute mile. I'm not a fan of celebrations. Um, heroes are okay. Celebrations were great when they had the galaxy truffle inside. Now they don't, they're rubbish. Um, so I'll eat them, but there's a lot of nutty ones in there. And if you didn't know, I'm allergic to nuts. So they've got Snicker ones in there, there's always tons of Snickers. I'm not the biggest fan of Mars bars, and Milky Ways, where you can have Milky Ways any time of the year. The Maltese ones in Celebrations are quite good, and like the Caramel one, the Caramel Galaxy ones, they're nice. Everything else in there is a bit pointless, I don't really like those. Roses and Quality Street are my favourite. I absolutely love, my favourite ones are the ones with like the strawberry cream and the orange cream. And both Quality Street and Roses do those perfectly. Um, so both of those I absolutely love. I don't know which one more, because Quality Street's a bit more of a dark chocolate, like it's a dark a chocolate flavour, Rose is more of a milk chocolate I would say, and I'm just a complete and a, a amazing person when it comes to picking out the colours, someone will just go, oh Jess what's this, and I'm like the little, the little book that you get in there, you don't need it when you're with me, because I can just tell you what the flavour is. A lot of people have asked, what is your usual Christmas day routine? Um, as most of, you, most of you know, my parents are split up. So, um, basically, I always spend Christmas Day with my dad and Boxing Day with my mum. You might think it's a little bit unfair, but because on a Boxing Day, on a Boxing Day, on Boxing Day, um, we spend uh, like the whole day with all of my like mum's side of the family. And because I have like a lot of people on that side of the family, we always do like, a massive do and like have like really loads of fun. So if I spend Christmas Day with my mum and then had to spend Boxing Day with my dad, I'd miss out on kind of the things that happen on Boxing Day with my mum's side, if that makes sense. Um, so that's how it goes. I normally wake up at my mum's though on Christmas Day. 
I open presents there, I normally wake up about five-ish. Um, I'm no one for sleeping in on a normal basis, like I'm a very morning person. When it comes to Christmas, I'm even more of a morning person. So we wake up about five-ish, open our presents, um, and then we kind of like, well, like open presents downstairs, and then we'll like uh, eat some chocolate or something, never really have proper breakfast. Or if we do, like, might be like croissants or something, but normally it's just eat the chocolate that you've got. And then we normally like sit and just like have a chat and stuff while everyone's opening their presents. I normally take ages, because every single time I open a present, I always look at it and go, oh, what's that? And like, I open it and everything and get everything out of it, uh, rather than just opening it, put it to the side and then look afterwards. And uh, then we get all our stuff, normally take it upstairs into our rooms, and uh, then normally get ready, so normally got like, new makeup for Christmas or like new clothes or something. Have a shower, use all of your new things, get ready and stuff, and then normally just like chill for a bit, and then about 11 o'clock we'll kind of go to my dad's, um, and when we're here we then like start opening presents here, uh, so we all do presents downstairs here like all together, and then about 1 o'clock-ish um, everyone kind of comes around, like all my family and stuff, for Christmas dinner, and then they stay for like the rest of the day, and I normally see Bradley in the evening on Christmas day, normally like about 6, 7 o'clock, um, and yeah, that's normally what happens. Um, Kate Torn asked who's your favourite couple in Love Actually? My favourite by far is Hugh Grant and whatever her name is, that other girl. Hugh Grant is just, he's just great and he, I just love him to pieces but their love story in Love Actually, I really like it. I think it's quite real, not the fact that he's the president, president, prime minister, but just it just seems like a very like they're very like shy around each other and when he goes and knocks on all those doors and it's just really cute, I really like them. Quite a few of you have asked what is one tradition you always keep at Christmas with your family. Um, I would say, like, as I just said, the whole Christmas day thing, we always do that. And then on Boxing Day, we always go and spend the day, like, with my mum's side of the family. So with all my cousins and my aunties and my uncles um, and everything. We always go somewhere on Christmas Day, like, for, like, no, on Boxing Day, sorry, for lunch. Um, and then we kind of come back to someone's house. Um, and, like, this year we're coming back to our house. So we come back to our house and we all sit and we open presents. Um, and we do, because there's a lot of like cousins, uh, we do like a brand tub, like a secret Santa type thing, but you know who's buying for you, if that makes sense. So like, for example, all like the mums like will pick out of a hat and pick like one person and have like a budget to spend on that one person. Rather than everyone getting small presents from everyone, every, like one person gets one person a really big present, if that makes sense. Um, so that's what we do, that's the tradition as well. And then we normally play like Just Dance um, and just like play games and stuff and it's just always really fun, I really enjoy that. And then another tradition is on Christmas Eve we always watch The Snowman. We normally have like cheese and biscuits, eat some roses and quality streets and Pringles. I've got some Pringles here because I'm just nibbling on them. Um, matchmakers, all that kind of stuff, have cheese and biscuits and watch The Snowman and I absolutely love doing that on Christmas. Eve. Becky Louise Bates asked which do you prefer more the build up to Christmas or Christmas Day itself? I don't know you know like I'm not entirely sure I do love the build up to Christmas I do but like even now my mum's still working my dad's still working my brother's now off like college but like I haven't really seen my friends much yet like since I've been home everyone's still doing stuff so kind of the build I do enjoy the build up but I think Christmas is mostly about spending time with your family and if people aren't around like Bradley's not home yet he's still at uni and it's just like people aren't around and kind of spending Christmas by yourself like the build up Christmas is by yourself so it was kind of pointless so like from next week like from like next Monday that build up from like Monday to Thursday for Christmas Eve I'll be really excited and I do really enjoy that but I do really enjoy Christmas Day. I think a lot of people do prefer the build up, but I am one of those people that prefer them equally. I do love Christmas Day. I got a bit, I'm a very emotional person. Um, I don't cry, I just well up quite a lot. I well up at everything. Like, if someone says something nice to me, I well up. Or if I watch a film, or if I watch an X Factor, anything, I've, I have a tear. Um, and so on Christmas Day and Boxing Day, I'm always constantly like, well enough. I'm going to get like a frog in my throat. Because I just, this time of the year, it's just my absolute favourite. Um, and yeah, it's just great. So I think I prefer, but I prefer them the same, to be honest. I can't, can't choose between them. I can't say your name, but is it Siliona? Ma Maginis? I'm rubbish at saying names, I'm so sorry. Um, she said, what is your favourite part of the Christmas dinner? Um, the turkey probably. We normally have like turkey and like a ham joint, like a gammon joint on Christmas day. Um, and then obviously everything else. I don't like sprouts, I'm not the biggest fan of veg, let's just say that. I don't really eat veg at all. I like fruit, so it's fine, I do get my like five a day, but I don't like veg at all. Um, yeah, turkey, like the meat of it is probably my favourite, and I love roast potatoes, they're great. The gravy, the cranberry sauce, Yorkshire pudding, what else do I like? All the pigs in blankets are pretty good too. The whole thing, Christmas dinner is absolutely fab. 
I really liked this question. Chloe Louise XO asked, mauled wine or a normal wine? Um, well, I'm just an advocate of wine. Wine is like my favourite thing in the world. I love a good glass of wine. But my favourite wine is rosé and so mauled wine is red wine. So I do like mulled wine, I think it's really nice, but because it's red wine it is quite rich, whereas rosé I can drink glasses and glasses of it as if it's going out of fashion, whereas mulled wine I can't, like I just kind of can have like one glass of it and then I kinda, I'm kind of done with it if that makes sense. So probably normal wine to be honest, normal rosé is just my absolute favourite, but I do like mulled wine when it comes to tummy but I don't have it very often, like have it at the Manchester Christmas markets? That's about it. We don't really have it at home. Um, so that's probably why I've never like really enjoyed it because I haven't like grown up with it as such. Underscore Doddy asked, does it annoy you if people say Xmas or Crimbo instead of Christmas? So much. Literally, it drives me insane. It is Christmas, not Xmas, not Crimbo. It really annoys me. So I'm really glad you asked that question because it's just, it really made me laugh because it just drives me insane. Like, I just, I hate it. I like Xmas, I don't like it at all, but I can... I can deal with that slightly. If someone says, oh, it's Xmas tomorrow, no, that's not happening. But someone like, I don't know, texts it or puts it on Twitter or something, that's not so bad. Crimbo. Crimbo? Like, that's awful. Like, what even is that? Like, no, 100% no, it's Christmas. Dina Green asked, who is your favourite person to give presents to on Christmas? Um, I do like giving them to everyone, to be honest. I really like giving them to my mum because I always like do quite good presents for her. And she always gets quite excited about receiving presents. She's a good person to get presents for because she always like really appreciates them. And she's always quite like excited to get them and like when she opens them and stuff like that. Um, and you'll know she, she'll like appreciate it and use whatever you've got and stuff. So this year I've done really well with my mum's Christmas presents. So I'm really excited to give her those this year. I do really enjoy buying for Bradley. Um, but I probably enjoyed buying for Bradley when we were a bit younger and we'd only just been together for like a year or so. Whereas now he's kind of more, I don't really get him like lovey duffy things or anything like that. Um, so I do buy, I do enjoy buying for Bradley. My dad and my brother are the hardest people to buy for ever. They are literally impossible. So probably my mum and Bradley I really enjoy buying for the most. Um, Sammy underscore Louise asked, PJs all day or dressed up on Christmas Day? 100% dressed up. I have never stayed in my pyjamas all day on Christmas Day. Um, and yeah, we always get dressed up. I normally like wear an outfit that I've got for Christmas, like I've been like brought for Christmas. Um, so I normally like wear that on the day. Um, that's normally what I do really. And because I have like Christmas Day and Boxing Day, and we kind of, like, as I said, it's like two Christmases, um, I kind of always make sure I save, uh, save an outfit for Boxing Day as well. But yeah, always get dressed up. I've never stayed in my pyjamas. I don't know, I just... You guys know if you watch my vlog channel, I don't really like standing in my pyjamas even on a normal day, like if I'm having a bed day. I don't like standing in my pyjamas, I'll actually like go and get the shower and get dressed just because I've been in my pyjamas all day. So yeah, it's definitely not happening on Christmas. I really like this question. This is by Sav Safs? Savs? It's got a Z on the end anyway. Um, this says, uh, which Christmas so far has been your favourite and why? And also, are you a festive person? I guess from this video you've kind of got that I am quite a festive person. Um, but, um, which Christmas has been my favourite so far? Don't really know. Um, like, the past couple haven't been amazing. I did enjoy last year's. Year before that, didn't really like that at all. I did enjoy Christmases when I was younger. Like, I think it is very special when you're younger. Like, with Santa and just your parents are always really excited when you're younger but I love Christmas now I really do I love all traditions we have and I just absolutely love spending it with who I spend it with um so yeah now Christmas is is as special as it was when I was younger but I can't think of a specific year I just but I know what you mean by Christmas as being like your favorite but I can't think of like one year that it was fantastic my battery's running out, so I'm going to answer one more question. Um, Love underscore Vogue said, if you could wake up anywhere in the world on Christmas Day, except for England, where would it be? Um, I've never been anywhere else for Christmas Day, and I wouldn't want to be. I'd really want to just stay at home. I think I'd probably go to New York, because I've always wanted to go there at Christmas. I think it would be really special, because it's really cold there, and it always snows, and I just think it would be fantastic. Um... But yeah, I think that's where I would be because I, there was nowhere else I'd want to be. I wouldn't want to be anywhere hot, not in the slightest. I have been to Australia for Christmas before because some of my family lived there. But I've been to Australia for like, oh, we went on the 27th. So it wasn't like going for Christmas Day. And obviously it was hot there because it's like their summer. But I wouldn't want to go to a hot for Christmas Day. I'd want to like be somewhere cold. Or like go to like Lapland, somewhere like that. That would be lovely to go for Christmas. And the battery hasn't died yet, so just one more quick question. If money was no limit, where would you like to spend Christmas? And what would be the one gift you'd love 
to buy for one person in your life. Uh, this is from Shelby O'Brien 1X. Um, I I don't know. Many people say, no, what, where would you like to spend Christmas? I'd still spend it at home. I honestly would. I'd still spend Christmas at home. Like, I would still spend it right here in my hometown. I wouldn't want to spend it anywhere else. Um, but what would be one gift you'd love to buy for one person in your life? There's not a specific gift. I'd love to have all the money in the world to spend at Christmas. I really would. Um, on decorations and gifts for everyone. Because I just think... Even though it's not about the money, I just absolutely love to spend, to be able to like give everyone so many presents, it would be amazing. So the battery's flashing at me and my memory card is getting a little bit full, so I'm going to go, um, as I think this is major signs that I should sign this video off. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching guys, I've really enjoyed filming this video for you. Um, I really hope that you're going to have the best Christmas ever, um, I hope you have so much fun and get so many lovely things. Um, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys!